Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find the derivative of y equal to x to the power of 3 over 2 from the first principle. You know in some of our previous lessons we have seen how to find the derivative of a function that has an integer exponent especially positive integers. All right but if you can see here we have a fraction. So how can we overcome this? Um, before we start I want us to use formula find the derivative of this function in order to have certainty in our solution. So what we are given is y, which is the same thing as f of x, equal to x to the power of 3 over 2. You know, um, the formula stated that if you have y equal to x to the power of n, dy over dx is equal to n multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1. So if we should apply this formula to our function, we have that y prime, which is the same thing as dy over dx, equal to n, which is 3 over 2, then x to the power of n minus 1, which is 3 over 2, minus 1. This will give us 3 over 2, x to the power of 1 over 2, because 3 over 2 minus 1 is 1 over 2. So this is our solution. So we want to find out whether we are going to get the same solution if we use first principle. Okay, from the first principle, it stated that um, f prime of x, which is the same thing as dy over dx, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So let's substitute. You know, our function is um, x to the power of 3 over 2. Um, but remember, our function, which is y equal to x to the power of 3 over 2, can be written as the square root of x to the power of 3 from one of the laws of indices. So we are going to make use of this. Let me just copy that. Therefore, f prime of x will be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, all we have to do is to replace x with x plus h. So instead of square root of x to the power of 3, we're going to have square root of x plus h all to the power of 3. Then minus f of x, which is the original function, um, square root of x to the power of 3, divided by h. From here, we cannot directly substitute h equal to 0 because if we do so, the whole system will be undefined. Therefore, let us go ahead and simplify this a little bit. You know, we can simplify this as the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h to the power of 30 minus square root of x to the power of 30 divide by h but i want us to multiply the top and the bottom of this function with the conjugate of the numerator the conjugate of the numerator will be square root of x plus h to the power of 3 instead of minus we have plus then square root of x to the power of 3 then we divide by the same function square root of x plus h to the power of 30, then plus square root of x to the power of 30. All right, from the top, we have difference of two squares because they have only difference of sign, which is plus or minus. So we take the first term and square that and subtract the square of the second term. So this is equal to, from the top, we have, uh, that power of 2 will just eliminate the square root, leaving only x plus h, to the power of 30, the minus uh, the other power of 2 will also eliminate this square root, leaving only power of 30. So we have x to the power of 30. Then divide by h multiplied by the whole of this, which is square root of x plus h to the power of 30 plus square root of x to the power of 30. Remember, we have our limit here the limit as h approaches 0. This is f 
prime of x. So from here, I think we can expand the top. We have x plus h to the power of 3. Let me first of all continue simplifying this before I come back to my limit. You know, this can be written as x plus h multiplied by x plus h multiplied by x plus h because we have power of 3. Now we have minus x to the power of 3 divide by from the top x plus h we can multiply these two brackets together and that will give us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared then we have our minus x to the power of 3 divide by Again, we can also multiply these two brackets. This is equal to, we take this first x and distribute all over these three times. This will give us x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared h, then plus x h squared. We do the same thing for the second term here, which is h. h times x squared will give us x squared h. Then h times 2xh will give us 2xh squared. Then lastly, we have h to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 3. The whole of this divide by... I believe from here you can see that x to the power of 3 will cancel x to the power of 3. This is equal to, let me bring back my limit h approaches 0. We can factor out h because all of these terms contain h. So we can bring 1h outside. From here we have only 2x squared. 2x squared. From the second term we have xh plus xh then plus x squared then plus 2xh then plus h squared divide by you can clearly see that these two h will cancel from here we can directly apply our limit wherever we have h we replace it with zero so let me just indicate them here um, this will become zero this will be zero this will be zero this will be zero as well so this is equal to 2x squared plus x squared to the top. All other terms remain 0. And to the bottom, we have just square root of x to the power of 3 because the h becomes 0 plus another square root of x to the power of 3. Let me simplify this. To the top, we have 2x squared plus x squared, which is going to give us 3x squared. To the bottom, these two terms are exactly the same. So we have 2 square root of x to the power of 3. You know, this is the same thing as 3 over 2 uh, multiplied by x squared divided by x to the power of 3 over 2. Remember this from the initial stage. Um, we can apply one of the laws of indices here because you can see the bases here are the same. So we can take one base and subtract the powers. So this is equal to 3 over 2 multiplied by 1x to the power of 2 minus 3 over 2. And you know that 2 minus 3 over 2 is the same thing as 1 over 2. Finally, we have 3 over 2 x to the power of 1 over 2, which is exactly the same thing as what we have earlier. You can see it right here, right? And you can further simplify this if you like, because x to the power of 1 over 2 is the same thing as square root of x. So we can write it as 3 over 2 multiplied by square root of x, which is the same thing as f prime of x. Or even 3 multiplied by square root of x divided by 2. All of these three exactly the same and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching
do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye